Bowling Green's Classic Rock is D93. It's Tony Rose with you, and we are joined by one of the uh, best actors, directors, producers in Hollywood going, uh, really one of the new kings of the horror movie world as well. You know him, uh, of course, you saw him in Inglorious Bastards with uh, Quentin Tarantino, uh, and of course, you know him as well from the movie that was part of the Grindhouse movie as one of the trailers that they turned into the full-length feature and became one of the real hits of this year. Out on DVD, now it is Thanksgiving, and it is the one and only Eli Roth. Eli, good morning, buddy. How you doing? Hey, Tony. Good, man. Good to talk to you. Hey, man. What does it feel like to have your name kind of mentioned in the same breath of so many of the great horror movie directors out there? And, uh, I mean, you hear about all the names, and now your name is part of that universe as well with guys that we're very familiar with, like John Carpenter and people like that. When you, you know you've done work, when, you're, when your name is mentioned with people like that, what does, it, what does it mean to you? Well, it's a strange thing because you feel like that imposter syndrome yeah. Like, well, I'm not there yet. I haven't done that. You know, because <laughs> as a kid, you're like, oh, I want to be like John Carpenter, George Romero, Wes Craven, Toby Hooper, you know, George Lucas. Well, yeah. obviously, not hard George Lucas, but <laughs> but then when you actually get to do it and you hear someone else say it, you're like, oh my gosh, did that really, did that really happen? I don't believe it. I'm like, no, no, that must be a mistake. I got to make more movies. It just keeps me focused to make more and do, do better next time, you know? When, it's, uh... Uh, it's, great. it's great that I'm so happy I filled the calendar. My life's dream growing up in Massachusetts was to fill the November desert. There, there was every other holiday had a slasher film, and it was never done for Thanksgiving. And I was like, if there's one thing I do before I leave this planet, it's that I have to complete the calendar and have a Thanksgiving theme horror film. So that that to me is the most satisfying. Thing. I love it. I love it. Like I said, I think it's brilliant. You're right. I always felt like Thanksgiving was was the the, the hidden holiday when it comes to horror movies. Of course, we're in we're in Halloween Central in, in our area here with with you know the original Halloween and so much more. So to have Thanksgiving finally get the respect it deserves. Uh, when we saw and and of course you know Tarantino when when he put out the, you know the Grindhouse and of course Death Proof uh, in there and 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 everything and planet terror everything with that but the the trailers that were part of that really stole the show and it was so innovative when that movie came out and of course thanksgiving the trailer was there at it, it, during that time uh did you know then when you guys kind of put that trailer together as part of that bigger picture that you wanted to make this into a full-length movie even then oh yeah no we knew before i was 12 years old when i wanted to make thanksgiving <laughs> i just thought someone else would it was so obvious it was yeah. Second biggest holiday after Christmas. Like, why wouldn't there be a Thanksgiving slasher film? So, you know, Jeff and I would wait every year going like, I can't believe no one's done it yet. So when Tarantino and Rodriguez asked me if I wanted to do a fake trailer, I was like, I already got it. It's Thanksgiving. Like, we had those kills ready to go. <laughs> so we just shot it with no plot. And afterwards, it was so satisfying. And the response was so overwhelming. We thought, great, we don't have to make a movie now. Why do the boring parts of people talking? <laughs> we can just do the kills. <laughs> It's over. Let's let's all just pretend the movie existed. We all just thought we know the best part. Um, but for, you know, for years the fans were badgering me, going, "Why? Where's Thanksgiving? Where's, no matter what I did, yeah. like I made a kids' movie called House of Clock and it's all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Thanksgiving? <laughs> so you know that shaming worked. But it, we didn't have a plot. We didn't know. We didn't. We didn't have anything beyond the kills. And then we started seeing, you know, those doorbuster sales, the Black yeah. Friday sales with the tramplings. And yeah. I thought, oh, this is this is interesting. This is great. Because now, not only do you have your inciting incident where you can have a few people get killed with multiple potential suspects, go back, a, you know, a year later, it's a viral video, everyone in the video is getting picked off, everyone connected to this is getting killed. Um, but you actually have a theme now, you know, it's the themes of, of greed and people saying they're thankful and then, you know, trampling over each other for a waffle iron. <laughs> but also the idea that there's rich people at the top that make everyone pay these, play these gladiator games. You know, because no one gets paid enough money, and it's the only way people can get enough stuff for their kids. So I was like, "This is that's where you can have a really interesting horror movie." It felt very. Now we kind of have a contemporary reason, a reason to do it, um, and then it's just you know having good twists and turns and trying to outdo every other kill you've ever done. Yeah. You know, in, in in your career, so that's that's the fun challenge. Well, you've brought something to the table for Thanksgiving. I mean, until this point, we had basically in our world the WKRP in Cincinnati turkey drop episode, which also had a lot of death. But it was the turkeys because they they organized together to really take everybody out. But uh, Thanksgiving is out on DVD now. They can get it. Uh, Eli Roth uh, is with us, and of course. Uh, before we let you get out of here, man, your body of work is second to none. Uh, working with guys like Tarantino, working with guys like Rodriguez. What's what's next for you now as we head into twenty 
2024? Well, Thanksgiving, thankfully, uh, did well enough that they wanted to do another one. It actually, this week, for some reason, <laughs> got re-released in theaters. So it's playing late shows. Like, yeah. It's in 500 theaters. So it's actually it's in cinemas. It's on Blu-ray, cinemas, digital, which is cool. But uh, I'm, I'm writing the next one. They want it for 2025, so I got yeah. a minute to sit and really think through and make sure the plot's great and come up with really good kills. Um, so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of enjoying sitting around and kind of taking my brain through the labyrinth of writing another movie. You've brought us a lot of great stuff. I look forward to seeing what else you continue to bring to us uh, in all the genres. And, of course, on the screen as well, when you, when you cross over to there as well. Eli, thank you so much for the time. Continue best of luck, and we'd love to catch up again sometime soon. Uh, great talking to you, Tony. Thanks so much.